Thank you so much. In American Graffiti, a girl throws a water balloon that was supposed to hit the window, but accidentally hits Carol in the face. Though it made her laugh, she continued acting and ad-libbed the scene. Very funny! What a job! <laughs> Quit laughing! In Black Knight, the scene where Princess Regina trips over her bedsheets wasn't scripted. Actress Jeanette Wegar really did trip and fall, but the director liked it and kept it in the final cut. No longer be interested in... <laughs> In Blood and Black Lace, after drowning Towley, the killer tries to pull the towel away from her waist, but it gets tangled in her legs. The killer just gives up, and this unscripted moment made it into the film. In The Searchers, during the battle at the Ford, Captain Reverend Clayton accidentally fires a shot when Ethan throws him a revolver. This was a real accident by Ward Bond, and director John Ford decided to keep it in the film. In Inception, the scene where Arthur kisses Ariadne wasn't in the original script. It makes you wonder what inspired director Christopher Nolan to include it. Quick, give me a kiss. In American Pie, Finch's scooter breaking down outside the hot dog shop was unplanned, but so funny the directors left it in. <laughs> in No Country for Old Men, during the coin toss scene, Javier Bardem nearly choked on a peanut when the gas station owner mentioned his wife's father originally owned the station. You lived here all your life? This is my wife's father's place uh, originally. <laughs> they kept it in the final cut because it looked like Chigur was so shocked by the idea of not building a business from scratch that he physically reacted. You lived here all your life? This is my wife's father's place uh, originally. In Animal House, when Bluto sneaks around campus at night and slips, rolls, and stands back up, it was a real slip by John Belushi on the wet grass. Director John Landis found it hilarious and used that take, as it fit Bluto's character perfectly. In Apollo 13, during the scene with Jim and Marilyn driving, Tom Hanks accidentally stalled the car. He muttered, Second time it's done that. And restarted the engine, saving the take. In Atonement, just before Robbie discovers the schoolgirl's massacre, there's a scene where he removes his helmet. The weather was cloudy, but as he looked up, the sun briefly shone. Then it got cloudy again when he put his head down. This lucky fluke was caught on camera and mentioned in the DVD commentary by Joe Wright. In the 1999 movie Deep Blue Sea, there's a scene where everyone is running away after the lab window breaks. This actually happened on set when a tank broke, releasing three tons of water. The fear on the actors' faces as they run for their lives is real. In Black Widow during the scene where Red Guardian is stuck in his jacket, David Harbour really got stuck. They used that take in the film. It still fits. In The Graduate, Ben grabbing Mrs. Robinson's breast during their first liaison was unscripted. Dustin Hoffman then walked to the back of the room and started banging his head against the wall because he couldn't stop laughing. In Harold and Maude, there's a scene where Maude and Harold steal a police officer's motorcycle. During this scene, Bud Court accidentally hit himself in the head with a shovel but kept going to finish the shot. In The Exorcist, there's a scene where Reagan spits pea soup vomit at Damien Karras. The mechanism malfunctioned, and instead of hitting his chest, the vomit hit him in the face. Jason Miller's disgust and anger in the scene are real. In the movie The Master, during the jail cell scene, Joaquin Phoenix breaks a real toilet. His actions were entirely improvised. Due to the historical past of the building where the scene took place, the toilet was considered historical. Joaquin had no intention of breaking the toilet, nor did he think it was possible. In the 1975 movie Jaws, there's a scene where the shark rolls on top of the shark cage. 
This wasn't planned, but the footage was so amazing that they decided to use it in the film. In Cabaret, during the scene where Brian conducts Natalia's English lessons with Sally and Fritz present, Brian passes Sally a plate of cake, but it falls off and hits her chest. Michael York said the cake was supposed to stay on the plate, but her reaction was so amusing that they decided to leave it in the film. Thank you. So much. In the first shot of A Hard Day's Night, George Harrison accidentally tripped and fell, and Ringo Starr fell on top of him. Their falls and laughter added more energy to the scene, so the footage was kept in the movie. We walk in the garden of his turbulence! In A Knight's Tale, when Will wins his first sword match, the crowd stays silent until Roland encourages them to cheer. This happened because the extras, who were from the Czech Republic, didn't know any English and didn't realize they were supposed to cheer at the end of Chaucer's speech. In the 1965 movie Dr. Zhivago, there is a scene where Lara slaps Komarovsky and he responds by slapping her back with his glove. This reaction wasn't in the original script. Actor Rod Steiger, who played Komarovsky, later remarked that nobody slaps Komarovsky and gets away with it. In On the Waterfront, the scene where Terry picks up Edie's glove and puts it on his own hand was completely improvised by Marlon Brando after Eva Marie Saint accidentally dropped it. This moment became iconic, and director Elia Kazan said his best decision was not yelling cut when it happened. In the movie Airplane, there's a scene where a girl runs to keep up with a plane as it leaves with her boyfriend. The towers she collides with weren't meant to fall over, but it was funnier that way, so they kept it in the movie. In Alien Resurrection, Sigourney Weaver really made the basketball shot behind her back without looking. The shock and surprise on the other actors' faces are genuine. Something of a predator, isn't she? In Blade Runner 2049, during the casino fight, Deckard actually hit Kay by accident. The strobe lights caused Harrison Ford to misjudge Ryan Gosling's position, leading to a real punch on the chin. Their surprised reactions fit the scene and were kept in the film. In A Knight's Tale, the knight who gets knocked off his horse in the opening scene is Heath Ledger's stunt double. That scene shows an actual accident where the stunt double was genuinely knocked unconscious while filming. In American Graffiti, when the guy robbing the liquor store tosses the bottle to Toad, he almost misses it. Charles Martin Smith said they practiced the scene perfectly, but director George Lucas chose to keep the one take with the mistake. In House of Flying Daggers, the climactic battle had already started filming when it suddenly began snowing in Ukraine. The filmmakers decided to continue filming, creating the visual effect of a battle that started in autumn and ended in winter. In Barton Fink, the bird diving at the end wasn't planned. According to the Coen brothers, the bird accidentally got into the shot, and they liked it so much that they decided to keep it in the film. In Road to Perdition, the scene where Rooney slams his hand down on the table in anger was improvised by Paul Newman during a read-through. I'd like to apologize. 